Hello Aquarius, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you guys, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, what is going on for Aquarius, please? Serenity and miracles, one more, and focus. Okay, guardian angel under the deck. I know serenity just came out for Pisces. It came out for someone else too, but miracles and focus on your miracle and be at peace. You may be getting guidance from your angels. So there's something you're trying to manifest right now. So focus on that. Be at peace that it will happen. All right, so let's see what's going on for you, Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Oh, it just fell right out. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Under the deck is Eight of Swords. Well, there could be something that's kind of stuck right now. If it's in reverse, Eight of Swords is under rever in reverse. That may be some why they're saying focus on what you want. Focus on this miracle. Again, this may be somebody else's Ace of Coin in Reverse and that they're having some sort of tower moment. Um, some of you may have to wait on the job. Maybe the job is not going to come through if it's meant to be in reverse. I mean, I read reversals and I picked it up reverse, so I'm going to assume that at this point it's supposed to be. But again, I've found sometimes they're not meant to be in reverse. So we'll see. We will see. Oh my gosh. All right, if you are out in the cold, if you're looking for work, work is coming in. Don't worry about that. Again, that's why I think maybe there's been a delay. It will come in. Maybe it's supposed to be upright. Again, be at peace because, so some of you, someone's feeling like you don't have the money. You're waiting for a miracle to happen. What is the Wheel of Fortune? Four of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the King of Cups. So there could be a specific person. We have the lovers under the deck. A water sign, someone who is in love with you or loves you very much. There is a light. Okay, so what I'm getting here, the, the hermit is spirit. Spirit is trying to show you something right now. So there is a miracle in front of you. You need to either, so again, as an air sign, what works best for you? Is it going outdoors, connecting with nature? Um, how would you focus? Would you meditate? Whatever it is, is how spirit's trying to show you. Now, there also seems to be a connection. Now, I just did Capricorn. I did do their extended, and there was a wealthy person. So if you have Capricorn in your chart, or maybe you know a Capricorn or something, maybe that is the person um, they're talking about, too. But this is like, Spirit's trying to show you something about a relationship with someone who may already be in love with you, who may be very wealthy, or maybe they have a job to offer you. This doesn't have to be a love relationship just because the Two of Cups is here. Of course, you guys know that soulmates can be family, friends. You know, what is this tower in the hidden position? Page of coin, the devil, the high priestess. Some of you, this is a Capricorn for some of you. Walking away, let me do one more, to the 10 of coins. Okay, I have to say this too. It could be someone's getting a divorce and you're gonna end up with a person who is getting that divorce. Someone's, or they're walking away from some sort of codependent relationship and you're gonna walk into a new relationship. It's almost like there is something ending for somebody else Right now, you feel out in the cold. You don't see where to go. You don't know what to do next, but it's going to work out for you. The tower, I don't think, is your tower. It is in the hidden position. It can be a challenge. Maybe you already went through this. Maybe you feel like you're in poverty because of the tower in the past or something like that. And again, it could be that you feel, feel alone in your emotions, obviously, not just money. But it's like someone could be thinking about you or someone is getting... See, sometimes these two together can mean someone who's in a relationship for a child. They feel like they have to stay... Someone's making them feel like they have to go. This could be that they are deciding to walk away and become more abundant, be um, happier, be in a different situation. So the Ten of Cups and the outcome. I don't want to say you have to fight for this. The Lovers is under here again. Maybe a Gemini. And again, I don't... I was going to say, I'm not sure if this King of Cups and King of Wands are two different people. This could be the same person. One of them may even represent you. But um, I was going to say, I don't feel like you have to fight for this. But the Seven of Wands, it almost feels like someone else will do the fighting. Someone else wants this connection with you, Aquarius. You're moving quickly to happiness with the Sun. Seven of Wands, not caring maybe what other people think. Fighting for this. In a relationship with the King of Wands. Hierophant. 
So the Page of Wands is here, this King of Wands. I'm sorry if that moved, that was my cat walking by. Um, yeah, I see clearly what this is saying. It's saying just be at peace and wait and focus on what it is you want because it's coming to you and it's spirit will help shine a light. It has to do some of you with being, um, being in a relationship that's abundant. Now I have a, I'm pretty sure 90% of you, you do know who this person is. You know, this, the people in the story, this is very specific. This would make sense to you. So I don't feel like I feel this is somebody new for some of you. It could be, but I didn't pick it up that way. I picked it more as like, you do know this is you waiting for a specific person. Forgiveness, needing to forgive someone. Master, learning the, the lesson. There is a warning here. There is a past life love and someone is awakening to a decision and a spiritual lesson, so go slow. Yeah. I feel like this is a situation, Aquarius, you have already been in. But there is someone who is waking up and realizing they're not happy in the codependent situation they're in and they want to get out. There is a breakup here happening for someone else. Meanwhile, you may be working. You may not need work or money or anything like that. You just may feel kind of lonely and out in the cold because this whole situation has left you there. And Spirit is saying, well, you got to just kind of wait and um, be at peace. I do feel like this Ace of Coins, maybe it's been delayed in reverse but it is coming in because I feel like it's here I think like the person you are dealing with may have kids already from another relationship possibly or you do or both of you it's kind of what I'm getting for someone I feel like there could be other kids you could have a kid together down the way with some but that's not coming through very strongly but anything's possible I feel like sometimes the King of Cups needs to find his grounding. He needs to step up and take and take action and become this King of Wands, become more passionate and not be so passive. Possibly also is what I'm picking up here. Okay. What does Aquarius need to know? Okay, you have the Prosperity card also, and I, that came up in Capricorn's Extended. And one more success. See, there is some sort of success that's going to come and come to you when it comes to your money and your prosperity and your abundance and your overall happiness. You know, bees make honey and honey is sweet and it can be, you know, more than just money. It's like children and family and under the deck is air spirit knowledge, which to me feels like you, number one. So it's like the ace of swords, the queen of swords, your energy, masculine or feminine. There's something that um, trusts that there's knowledge coming to you and that you will be happy. There's expansion. So again, some of this is like expanding your family. It could be having more kids or having stepkids or blending families or having more land or property or something or buying a home together. So um, there's something definitely changing when it comes to this connection. So again, let me go back to this one. Archangel Michael is sitting here. I mean, I kind of picked up half the deck, but I'm just thinking he is a par powerful angel that you can call on specifically for help. So... Let me see what they want to tell me because they are telling me that you need to focus more on what it is you want and not what you don't want and focus on this specific connection relationship, this reading, whatever this reading is, is talking to you about. Self-acceptance might be important and friendship might be important too. And he's Archangel Michael's underneath that deck again. So. I feel like some of you want to be friends with an ex and it might piss you off. It's one thing I'm getting with that. But it may just have to be, especially if there's kids involved. And it could be someone else has to accept that you are the ex or you have kids with someone and that you're going to be in the picture. Um, let me pull a card from this deck to see what this person wants to say to you. I'm just going to pull one today. Just one message. This person says they miss being with you. Okay. Yeah, I get a message that's going to start out as with a friendly tone, um, asking you how you are and, you know, if you will, like, accept their invitation. They say I want you back. So let me go to one other deck here in closing. 
No, it's facing the wrong way. Okay, this one. What does this person want to say to Aquarius? Life hasn't been too nice to me and I took it out on you. So someone may have a temper. Maybe they got angry about something in the past. I wish I could have been emotionally available and let you in. And I am lost in this world without you. It gets lonely. Well, you know what? That's five of coins. So maybe I've read it backwards. Maybe it is their energy. They're the one missing you. Could be that you're staying busy, Aquarius. Also, I'm seeing you being busy and taking care of you and working out and things like that. And all of a sudden, I see them now as the one who's lonely. And that's one of the best things you can do is focus on you. Maybe some of you need to spend more time with your friends or make new friends if you don't have very many. Um, I'm noticing more and more friends growing apart, you know, as uh, they get older, people have different lives, people pass away, things like that. So, yeah, don't feel bad if you lost touch over lost touch over the years with some of your friends. Okay, all right. Let me see what they want me to do next because okay, I'm going to pull one card from the universe from this. I do think there could be a hidden wish fulfillment here. It does say miracle. Can you give us one card in closing, please, Spirit? Six of Wands, so you have a victory, and Six of Coins is under the deck. Hmm. So it feels like something that was taken from you could be given back. There could be some balance restored in a situation. Some of you may have kids, and maybe your friends, their children, you guys, like the kids, like you, someone took their kids away and they won't let them play or anything, or there's some sort of, I feel like things are going to get happier and lighter also. So it's too complicated to explain that, but there's something about like the kids can't play together anymore. So I don't know if that's family or neighbors or what that was, but I feel like someone's going to get over something. It'll go back to the way it was. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. You guys have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.